Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Deck Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Foliage playing cards from Sam Porter. What is this? Uh, right now, this is a Kickstarter project, okay? It's a Kickstarter currently. So as you're watching this, if you're watching this in the right time frame, of course, this is out on Kickstarter right now, which means this is a prototype. Sam was kind enough, gracious enough, awesome enough to send me uh, one of the prototypes so that I could do this review for you, get you hyped up about the Foliage campaign. All right, so the Foliage playing cards, they uh, were conceptualized by Sam Porter. He's a young magician and uh, certainly uh, a pretty cool guy. Uh, these cards, though, are illustrated by Nick Vlau. And so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar uh, with Nick Vlau and his work. Uh, he's a magician, he's a graphic designer. He's done a lot of decks. Go out and check him out on Instagram. I'll stick his uh, Instagram right there in the corner so that you can kind of follow him and see what other things he's done. Of course, you want to follow uh, Sam Porter as well and just follow uh, the Foliage campaign as it's growing. Uh, every single detail of this deck is carefully placed with a purpose just to ensure that there's a high quality classic design and of course a fresh new look. Now of course because this is a prototype we're not going to talk about how thick the cards are. You know the, this deck was made uh, from mpc.com. I think when the deck gets released it's going to be printed by Legends. Okay so it's going to have all the same quality uh, that Legends is famous for. These cards are going to be put on their new diamond cut finish. Uh, the super elite finish is probably going to be one of their stretch goals and uh, every single one of these decks uh, will contain 54 cards including the 52 standard cards and then hopefully uh, either two jokers or two gaffs depending on which way he goes. I think uh, right now uh, my prototype came with two gaff cards. It came with an additional four of diamonds and a double backer. But of course because this is the campaign stage he's going to be listening to a lot of his backers and uh, finding out what they want and they might want you know two jokers or one joker and a gaff or whatever. So I would say if this is a campaign that appeals to you definitely go down, support him, and uh, give him uh, your advice. And what else is really cool about having a prototype, not all prototypes that I get even have tuck cases. So the fact that the tuck case is conceptualized as well, that's pretty awesome. It's all done in this uh, beautiful uh, grass kind of leaf green, has a beautiful image of a tree on the front, very minimalistic, very, uh, it's gonna make you think of other cardistry decks. It says foliage on the front. Uh, I think both sides say foliage playing cards. The bottom has some ad copy about legends and uh, it has Sam's icon there. The top tongue flap doesn't have anything on it and of course the back design is the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards will come from the Legends Playing Card Company uh, when they are finalized. And of course you can see uh, right in front of you, the back design is just a beautiful uh, classic image like I've been saying. It's a beautiful uh, framed out border with leaves uh, going through there. And then you have that tree image on the top and the bottom as a two-way uh, back design. A bunch of little dots and then a little two-way image of leaves uh, in the very, very center as well. It's got a minimal poker border, which is nice. And I think that's great for both uh, uh, gambling routines and uh, flourishers, I think we'll appreciate both of those concepts. And again, like I said, uh, Sam's still going through the conceptual phase. There's still a lot that could change both with the backs and the faces and everything I'm going to show you. So just understand that this is a video to get you hyped up, get you excited about it. Of course, I think when these are finally printed, uh, I think you're going to see a lot more cool additions. Now, because this deck has a tree theme, uh, Sam decided to make the Ace of Clubs the feature prominent ace. Now, this is the conceptualized art uh, as I got it, but again, you know, that could change. You know, this could become a more flowery, uh, more traditional look in, in the future going forward, but I think it's a nice concept that he picked the icon that looks closest to the theme uh, of the deck, and it just goes to show you how well uh, Sam and Nick uh, conceptualized this deck. Of course, that means your ace of spades is going to be minimal and small and uh, normal, yeah. The court cards, Sam went through and did a recolor on uh, all of them so that they had this kind of foliage, leafy green kind of uh, feel. So you're gonna see a lot of dark, uh, dark browns, dark greens, uh, very muted colors, which I think uh, 
fits the overall design. But as far as the pips and indices go, uh, everything is going to be standard, which I think is great because that's what magicians look for uh, and card collectors too. So I think uh, Sam's kind of appealing to both groups. Like I said, I think this is an awesome deck. It captures the, the best of both worlds. I think uh, flourishers and cardists are going to like some of the modern aspects to it. And I think magicians and card collectors are going to like a lot of the traditional feels uh, to it. And uh, like I said, Nick Vlau is an insanely awesome graphic designer. Uh, you really got some great art in here. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that love green decks. Like how often do green decks come out? Uh, I think there's definitely a market for that as well. So like I said, uh, if this has struck a chord with you, if you like to support uh, young designers, definitely head on down to Kickstarter. Check out uh, this Kickstarter. Even if you can only you know give a dollar, I think that's, that's worth it just to see something uh, come to life. Uh, there's a lot of great campaigns out there right now that, that haven't seen uh, fruition and it'd be lovely to see uh, this deck made. All right, so like I said, this is from Sam Porter and Nick Vlau. Definitely head on down to Kickstarter, check it out, back it, give them your love. Thank you to Sam Porter for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. Thanks, bye.